Hello, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Science Fathom where I try to demonstrate easy scientific concepts in a more simplified manner uh, for students and people in general to understand. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Today's topic will be covering uh, the principle of cross-cutting relationships. Uh, in terms of geology, I have three more principles to cover. I already covered the principle of superposition, so go check out that video. Uh, but let's dive into this principle. So the principle of cross-cutting relationships states that a geologic feature that is cut across another is younger. Uh, and just, I put in parentheses, it is a relative age dating method for rocks. Uh, just for those of you who don't know, we use these principles as a relative age dating method, uh, not um, absolute age dating methods. So let's take a look at what I mean by the principle of cross-cutting relationships. So here I've laid out for you guys rock formation one. And I drew up this basic figure to help you guys better understand the principle of cross-cutting relationships. Um, I have three rock layers here, uh, and I have a key indicating that rock layer A is the black hashed layer, uh, rock layer B is the green circled layer, and rock layer C is the red diamond layer. Now, the way that we determine uh, the oldest and the youngest rock layers is by the principle of cross-cutting relationships. We have to know which ones are cutting across which. So from this figure, we know that both layers B and C are cutting across A automatically. So that would make A the oldest, right? And because C is overlapping layer B and A, that would make uh, layer C the youngest layer. And layer B would be in the middle of the two. So again, layer A is the oldest because... B and C are overlapping it, uh, and layer C is the youngest because it is cutting across both A and B, and that would leave B right in the middle between the two. So let's move on to a little bit more complex figure. So here I have drawn out rock formation two. It's a bit of a more complex figure, but I have the key indicating the four different rock layers based on color. And my question to you guys is, what are the rock layers from oldest to youngest? Now, I have the answers hidden under the sheet because I want to go through it with you guys. So let's start with the oldest rock layer. Now, remember, the oldest rock layer is going to be the one that's getting cut across by the other three rock layers, right? So as you can see in this figure, we have the red, blue, and green rock layers cutting across uh, the black rock layer in the background, right? So that would make rock layer A the oldest because it's getting overlapped or cut across by the other three, right? So the second oldest is going to be the one that is cutting across rock layer A, but not the other two, right? So that would be the blue rock layer because it's cutting across A in the background, but it's being overlapped still by the green and the red rock layers. So that would make rock layer B the second oldest. The third oldest, again, is going to be the one that's overlapping A and B, but not overlapping the fourth rock layer, right? So that would make rock, uh, the red rock layer the third oldest because it's cutting across A in the background and the blue rock layer B, right? but it is still being overlapped by layer D, and that would make right layer D the youngest by default, right? Because it's cutting across all three rock layers. So that's basically it for today's video. I hope that helped your, your understanding of the principle of cross-cutting relationships. Um, please check out my recent video of the principle of superposition. So yeah, that's it for today. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and have a good one. Thanks.